That's what I call poor. You know how beautiful that is. I just so happened to get a few cases of Sierra Nevada Celebration. After watching a bunch of Austin Paul and Daniel Schiffer content, I really wanted to make like an epic B-roll video with the beer. I knew I had to start somewhere with this ad. So the first thing I did is I started studying up on the notes of this beer. This is to know what I needed to make this shoot, right? I know it has hints of citrus and like a brittle, like peanut brittle flavor. It has a very distinct taste and it's really good. So I knew I wanted some oranges and easily enough, Sierra Nevada has a peanut brittle for sale. So I got a few bags of that. I don't really have any nice glassware for drinking as I am not a huge drinker. So I had to get myself a nice piece of glass, not a lens, glass. In fact, uh, here it is right here. Very nice. Now that I had everything, it was time to start putting a shot list together. I knew I wanted a top-down shot of the beer flowing into the glass, then a shot of just the liquid on like a black silhouette, and a hero shot of the glass with the logo and beer flowing into it. Then some pickup shots I leaned into, like the bottle opening shot with the steam coming out of the bottle. This was a total accident. It was super cold in the garage where I was shooting that at, and the bottle was straight out of the refrigerator. So when I opened it, the steam coming out of there, I, I saw that and I was like, yep, that's definitely gonna be the bottle opening scene. So I stopped everything and made sure I got that scene right away. For the peanut brittle and oranges, I saw Daniel Schiffer use a Ziploc bag for a trampoline effect. So uh, I, I naturally stole that and used it and it works great for getting stuff into the air. It did take a few tries to get one that I liked and uh, where the you know, majority of the brittle was in focus. I froze oranges so they would be a little heavier and so they wouldn't fly so high in the air. But when I poured water on them, they all froze together and uh, just ended up being like one big orange clump flying in the air. So. I just added a few of the normal non-frozen ones and I did it again and again and it came out pretty good, I thought. For the bottle spin clip, I used a drill with a chopstick glued to the bottom of a bottle and sprayed the bottle down with water. So it gave it that like cold look straight out of the refrigerator or cooler. And I shot that in 120 frames per second. I used the Sony 50 millimeter F1.2 lens for the entire shoot. And for the macro shots, I used the Miki macro tube set. I needed to get, you know, like the foam and the, and the logo and the overhead shot pouring. I think they did a great job and those Miki tube sets are always going in my bag. Now the most difficult scene by far to create was the ending with the bottle sliding in and me setting the glass down at the same time. I stole this idea from Daniel Schiffer also with the fishing line and the double-sided tape. I had to try this like 10 times to get it right and in post it ended up not liking any of them. So I had to go back to the drawing board and try a few different things. Ended up pushing the brittle and the fruit closer together to hide the fishing line and the tape. And that ended up you know, looking pretty good once I uh, added that little like push out at the very end with the, with the fade to logo. I think it looks really good in my book. Now for sound design, I just banged around the garage for a little bit with my Sennheiser 416 and Zoom H6 to get the sounds I wanted. I really wanted it to sound good and give the viewer a close-up of the beer. Um, I think that the sounds do that, personally. I shot the whole thing on the A7S III and S-Log III and graded it with the Phantom LUTs. I shot it at 5700 Kelvin, just for a little bit warmer feel to work with. Then for music, I used a classical tune that I got from Artlist, and no, not sponsored. But in the description, I have a link to them and I highly recommend using them for your music needs. For the long ad, I asked my dad to help with it. I had him open a beer pour it, drink it, and get some in his stash. I ended up buying a few items of clothing to get that Sierra Nevada branding in there, you know, just for the viewer to recognize. And then I just repeated the process for me as I was the young man from 1981 trying it for the first time, and then the older version of me drinking it and still loving it. We're all the way back to our first taste of celebration in the winter of 81. Ready note, this makes this seasonal bold wintertime classic a must year after year. That's good. Overall, it was a lot of fun to make, and I for sure want to make more of these in the future. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions, or if you just want to say hi. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>